picture this two leaders with vastly different approaches towards achieving success. One says that competence is a foundation for success and believes that it can have all the confidence in the world without the competence and the required skill sets, you may not achieve success. And the other says confidence is everything and that if you don't have confidence in yourself, how can you expect others to follow you? So in this video, we'll be exploring who is right among these two leaders. The answer, as with everything in life, is a little of both. My name is Shino Salako, a John C. Maxwell Leadership Team member. I help individuals and organizations to overcome obstacles and achieve mastery in leadership and in business. The most successful leaders in business are those that strike a balance between competence and confidence. They have the skills and knowledge to back up their ideas, but they also have the conviction and belief to inspire others and take bold actions and decisions. When it comes to leadership, competence and confidence are two sides of the same coin. You need both to be successful, but the key is to know when to lean heavily on one or the other. Let's say you're a leader who is very confident but not particularly competent. You might be great at inspiring your team and get them committed to your vision, but you might also make rash decisions that may lead to failure. On the other hand, if someone is highly competent but lacks confidence, you might struggle to inspire your team into achieving the vision of the business. You might also delay in taking risks and making bold decisions that will move you and the team forward because of lack of confidence. So the big question is, how do you find the right balance? One key is to continually develop your skills and knowledge while working on developing your coffee. This can be done through ongoing trainings and education and pushing yourself outside your comfort zone to take on new challenges. And Another important aspect is developing self-awareness. Leaders must be honest with themselves about their strengths and weaknesses and be willing to delegate tasks when necessary and not be afraid to seek help when needed and they must also recognize when they are overconfident or lacking competence. Ultimately, the most successful leaders and business owners are those that are able to strike a balance between competence, confidence, skills, knowledge, and experience, while also having the conviction to go forward with their dreams, believing in themselves to make bold decisions and trusting the process. So, whether you're a natural born leader with plenty confidence or a hard working expert who has owned several skills over time, remember that finding the right balance key to achieving success in any field reflects on your own balance of competence and confidence in your professional life. If you had to subscribe to our channel, endeavor to do so to keep getting value like this. Subscribe, like, share, and put on your notification bell so that you are notified anytime I upload new videos. So if you're interested in building confidence and competence in your leadership journey, we can help you through our mastermind session and coaching program. I'll put the link below so that you can reach out to me to join our mentorship program. So what must you do immediately after watching this video? What are the actions that you need to take? Recognize the importance of confidence and competence and then take the following steps. Study successful people in your industry and note how they balance confidence and competence. Two, read books that will inspire you to build confidence while you're developing your skills and experience. Attend seminars, attend workshops and conferences that will help you build the best version of yourself. You must understand the risks of overemphasizing one trait over the other. Seek feedback from your colleagues and then find your own balance between confidence and confidence. In order to push yourself out of the comfort zone, you must identify areas where you are playing it safe. Set challenging goals to push yourself out of that comfort zone. Develop a growth mindset. You can see my video on how to develop a growth mindset 
I'll put that in the description box. And finally, surround yourself with positive people that will energize, motivate, and inspire you. Thank you for joining me today. I'm super excited I'm able to deliver value to you. See you in our next video.